we are celebrating 2019 Citizenship Week, which is being organized by the NCCE. I'm sure many of us don't know exactly what goes into it because maybe you haven't lived long enough to celebrate it. But they're here to tell us all about it. I've got Joyce Afutu, Director for Communications and Corporate Affairs at NCCE, and Rita Ampar bin, Deputy Director for Communications and Corporate Affairs. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning to your viewers. Great. It's good to have you here. But yes. like I started off by saying, Citizenship Week, it sounds very exciting, and I'm sure it's to, you know, give us citizens some feeling of that whole participation in national dialogue and feeling a part of it as against spectators. But tell us what really goes into Citizenship Week or what you've planned for us as Ghanaians this year. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Citizenship Week is uh, a flagship program of the MCCE. And it came about as a result of our engagement with okay. citizens of Ghana. Right. And in 2001, the NCC introduced the annual Constitution Week. Okay. And the Constitution Week is a period where we bring all Ghanaians together to rally around the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll look at our democratic practice and how okay. citizens will can participate actively in the governance processes. So we realized that at a point we were meeting only the adult population. Mm. So in a bit to include the young Ghanaians, in 2012, we introduced the Citizenship Week. Okay. And Citizenship Week is meant for people of basic schools. Right. We take volunteers along with us, and then they interact with the pupils and then impart virtues of good citizenship in them. And we also remind the young Ghanaians that they are also needed mm. to ensure that we propel our democracy forward. And they need to also engage and be part of the democratic process of Ghana. So mm -hmm. since 2012, we have been organizing the Citizenship Week annually. Okay. And in 2019, we chose the theme, A Clean Ghana, mm -hmm. Our Responsibility. Okay. And this is a build up to our 2018 engagement. Mm -hmm. The 2018 was the environment mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. and so as a way of uh, ensuring that we effect attitudinal change, we, the commission thought it wise to mm -hmm. this year to also speak on sanitation. Oh, yeah. And this is a sub-theme of the commission. Mm -hmm. The main theme of the commission is Ghana, one people, our values, our sovereignty hmm. in participatory democracy. That's and it, a mouthful. Yeah, it is a mouthful. That, that it, is, nice. it is, but I, think I will explain it mm. bit by bit. When we say Ghana, mm -hmm. one people, we are emphasizing the fact that no matter where you are located on the map of Ghana, right. you are a Ghanaian first, so you right. should have the interests of Ghana at heart. Certainly. And then one people, we are one, hmm. and with a common destiny of developing Ghana. Hmm. So everybody must come on board to develop right. Ghana. And then our values, you know, as Ghanaians, we have our cherished values. Mm -hmm. They are timeless, but it appears we are losing them. Exactly. Values like tolerance. Mm -hmm. Now people are not tolerant anymore. At all. The slightest thing, provocation, we think we should fight, mm -hmm. we should uh, just inflict hardship or mm -hmm. pain on other people. Right. So we are still encouraging Ghanaians to be tolerant. Mm -hmm. Values like hard work, mm -hmm. we are losing it. Mm -hmm. People think overnight you can be rich. And for that matter, we have young people. You have worked for about 20 years, 30 mm -hmm. years. The things you have, a young person wants to have it in a year week. or two. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which is not that. Right. Hard work with time, yeah. it will pay off. Okay. And then values like uh, respect, discipline, we are losing all of them. Yeah. Respect for the elderly, mm -hmm. the aged. So we are urging, let us go back for these cherished values and it will help us create a disciplined society. Great. So above all, I think uh, one of the values that we are losing mm. is how to maintain good uh, uh, sanitation uh, in our environment, right. how to live in, in a, a good environment and how to right. ensure that we uh, ma maintain good sanitation practices. It's really, really eluding us as a nation. So mm. if you look at our country now, we are engulfed with filth. Yeah. Anytime. It rains. Mm. You know, people are afraid because there will be flooding. Mm -hmm. People will lose their lives. Mm -hmm. People will lose their property. But yeah. it shouldn't be so. Right. So that is why 2019 Citizenship Week, we NCC, we believe in that scripture, train up the child the way when he should go. Should. And when he goes, he will not depart from it. So we believe in this catch them young phrase. Mm. And we believe that we, when we start with the young ones, they will imbibe the virtues and right. they will grow up to become responsible citizens. Right. So we have chosen the sub theme out of the bigger theme. Uh, a clean Ghana, our responsibility. Interesting. But just like you touched on, the fact that it seems like we lose out on the younger ones most times, and so with your citizenship week, you tend to focus on them. I'm wondering, are you partnering with Ghana Education Service? Because I understand you want to reach over 2 million children in these yes. schools. Yes. So how are you going to go about that to make sure this becomes a reality? In fact, we are 
partnering with the Ghana Education Service okay. because they have given us a platform right. to speak to the pupils okay. nationwide. Mm -hmm. 10,000 schools, all our regional, I mean, offices, district offices and all that. And like Madam Afutu said, we have volunteers moving along with us, our civic educators. And so GES has really been very supportive. And we have the European Union also championing our cause. Mm. They are making sure that we enter the schools and all that to educate these people. Right. And catching them young is very crucial to us mm. because we believe that we have to imbibe in the peoples or young citizens the values of our, uh, what do you call it, the values that we mentioned, the discipline, the respect, and all that. Mm. We can't lose out on that. Mm. So this is very crucial to the NCC. But in your engagements, I'm also looking at what we, you know, tell the children on the ground, because it's easier for children to emulate what they see. And so we come and we tell them, do it this way, don't do this. But he goes home and he sees mommy and daddy doing the wrong thing. And in our culture, in our part of the world, it's difficult for a young person to step up to their parents and say, daddy, I think you're doing this wrong. Do it this other way. Don't you have that you know, gap of educating these children to actually practice what we're teaching them and not just taking it as theory? Yes, we have a platform and we are engaging them mm. to practice what we tell them. I think these days we have the young one, they even educate. Mm. We know that the children are agents of change. Right. So as they get the message, they will tell their peers, they will tell their parents, and they will tell whoever is in their space. Mm. And we don't just go teach them abstract. Okay. We have pictorial uh, ways yes. by which okay. we, we teach yeah. them. Right. So we have this one, uh, stop the pollution. You, mm. you have somebody just drop something on the beside the bin because right. somebody has done that. But right. we said be part of the solution. Okay. So so Not drop your litter in the uh, bin. Right. So even where, if you look at uh, around us, mm -hmm. there are certain places there are no bins. Right. Where there are no bins, take your refuse home mm -hmm. and bin it. Don't drop it anywhere. It your, bag. Right. your bag, your pocket, wherever you mm -hmm. have. And you, you take it along and then you go and do it. So Still we have this one too. We know people drop litter when mm -hmm. they are in vehicles. Mm -hmm. So we go there, we, t we tell them, no, it is take a bad thing to do. Take it home and bin it. Mm -hmm. And then good sanitation starts with me. Right. So the little things that we do as individuals mm. will go a long way to ensure that the clean Ghana that we want to see mm. will come into a reality. Mm. So, yes. And so I see have, that, separate your yes. waste where separate you can. Your waste and that's where I was can. coming to, because yes. what does the NCC do in partnership with yes. the local authorities to make sure that we're doing this? Because some people actually do it, but when the waste collectors oh, just, come to your yeah. home, they put it all together. They and so at the end, yes. your segregation so, so doesn't so get any yes. waste. So one of the, our engagement, we are now going to engage the okay. refuse collectors right. so that they can uh, separate the waste. Hmm. Because I have several people, I've engaged with several people, and they are also saying that, yes, even if I separate it and they come, they, they put them together. Exactly. Uh -huh. So there is no need. And when you go to where they are picking up, hmm. there's a whole thing there. You get people picking up with it, attendance right. health issues. Right. So we will also engage them to ensure that they separate the bin. And anyway. this time around, we have worked with the an NGO called One Ghana Movement. They okay. have given us some beans mm -hmm. that we will give to you the schools. Yes, okay, to them but as let's we talk go. about... And also we have engaged a, a waste a separating company in okay. the Kema area, yeah, going yeah, to yeah, Afenia exactly. and all nice. that. So we will look at schools within that enclave so okay. that they can start and they can come for the refuse. And even in our office, mm -hmm. uh, our waste paper, we don't just throw them, we, we shred, shred them. them. And then okay. the company comes for it and they give, they give us toilet roll in return. Oh, yeah, so we, we can all start what we are preaching. So we can also start for this year's citizenship week, we are trying to effect an attitudinal change. Okay. So if you look at one of the posters, I said, good sanitation, start with, with me. me. At least the little, little thing that we, we do, mm. we must all do it, and it will have the multiplier effect right. to come up to become the big, clean thing that we want to do. And we are also focusing on the proper disposal of plastics. Mm. And we should reduce our usage of plastics. These days, we buy everything in plastic. plastic. When you even want to buy coconut, mm -hmm. they will put the uh, water in one, they will put the food the mm -hmm. inside in one and they will put the three in, in another. In another. Mm -hmm. So one person, you take about three or four politics before you leave. So let us start something. Right. I, I have started something. Mm. I take coconut every day. So when I'm, I'm coming to work, I, I bring my bottle mm. for the water, exactly. I have a small container for the inside, and then I even have a container. If I want to buy fruit, I put it in mm. it. So every day, I'm reducing three. I don't use it. Right. So if everybody does that, I mean, little by little, will go a long way. And let us also continue to uh, go back to our values. When mm. we are growing up, when we are going to the market, you go with a basket, you, you do, do your shopping. Exactly. Uh -huh. So let yeah. us start doing all those things. Right. Yes, and let us use biodegradables instead of plastic so that we can the environment of plastics and all that. We certainly will. But finally, tell us about the week 
when it starts and when it ends and okay. how we can all be so a part of it. So the week started yesterday, mm -hmm. 27th to the 3rd of June, 2019. Mm -hmm. And like I mentioned earlier, we'll be going around all the schools, mm -hmm. selected schools with volunteers and all that. So during this time, we will actively engage these people on the theme that we have chosen as a commission. Mm -hmm. And interact, we will interact with them. They will answer questions, okay. ask questions as well. And we believe that since this uh, citizenship week started, 29, uh, 2012, mm -hmm. it's been very successful. Mm -hmm. And so we'll continue to engage people mm -hmm. until they change their minds. You know, attitudinal change is a long-term mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So we'll constantly do that mm -hmm. so that Ghana will become a better place for all. All of us. Mm -hmm. We certainly mm -hmm. hope so. And indeed, we all are celebrating 2019 Citizenship Week being organized by NCC. And the main focus is sanitation. The change starts with you and it starts with me. Check right in the corner where you are by doing the right thing. If someone watches you and sees, at least the young ones will learn. As Bright said, maybe the older generation have failed, they will pass away. But the young ones need to understand the importance of cleanliness and good hygiene. And once they learn, the future generations will certainly learn that as well. Let me say thank you to you, Madam Joyce Afutu. She is Director for Communications and Corporate Affairs at NCCE. And also Rita Apabin. She's also Deputy Director for Communications and Corporate Affairs at the NCCE. And on that note, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more. Do stay with us. <laughs>